Hi there. Recently, I purchased a new Personas audio box. One of the issues that I found straight out of the gate is that the Personas doesn't have the power to supply uh, the necessary wattage to uh, external speakers, such as uh, floor monitors or studio monitors. So you need either one of two things. You need a uh, powered set of speakers, or you're gonna need an amplifier to power your existing speakers. So I went online, did a lot of research, and I found a uh, Behringer product that I think is uh, gonna be really great. So I wanted to show it to you, get it set up, and uh, see what we got. So after all my research, I ended up deciding to go with the uh, Behringer iNuke NU1000. Uh, obviously, the price point was the biggest deciding factor for me. Uh, at roughly $149 online, this was definitely the way to go to somebody on a budget. So it came in, the first thing I noticed immediately, right out of the gate, is it was extremely light. And as you can see, the box and all, not typically what you would expect from an amplifier. So uh, one of the selling points of the uh, Behringer is their technology where they've done away with the heavy components that make up uh, an amp. So opening up the box, we can see here on top, we've got our owner's manual, a nice little Behringer sticker for whatever we want right there. Continuing to unpackage it, again, first thing I notice is it's extremely light. Not at all what you would expect from an amplifier. So completely out of the box, here is the, uh, the NU1000 amp. And yes, I'm that guy. I can't stand this stuff right here. So I've got to peel all that off of it. But visually, it's a really nice looking piece of equipment. So this is uh, with the weight and the design and the looks of this, it's not gonna look bad at all sitting on top of my desk. Uh, as you can see, the output's on the back. Uh, it is uh, speak on, speak on outputs. So one of the things that I had to order with it was some speak on adapters. I went ahead and ordered those with the unit. They're roughly $10 a piece. We have two inputs, two outputs, uh, the, the fan on the back and then the, the outlet. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing hooked up on my desk and connect it to my Personas and let's see what it sounds like. Okay, so here we are. We've got it all hooked up. Obviously I have a little bit of cable management that I'm gonna to have to do once I finish the video here, but I've got my uh, Personas audio box sitting right here on top. Uh, my monitor uh, is resting right on top of the amp. And then beneath we are gonna be powering two 12 inch Fender Squire floor monitors, uh, 12s with tweeters. So let's go ahead and get it powered up. That's a little bit of noise from the fan running inside there. I'll bring it up just a hair here. Okay, now we have everything running. We're ready to open up the Studio One software where we uh, had started our most recent recording. And there you can see my Personas is my selected device there. And the only thing I have right now is a drum track created. And let's see what we got. Good. All right, now I've loaded in one of the demos that comes with the Studio One software of Bass Invaders, and just to see if we can get a full sound on this, I can control my volume from right here on the Personas. <laughs>
Okay, so this is exactly what we needed to get this going. The problem was is I was running the Personas through my uh, computer and the only thing that I had was headphones. So when doing studio mixes and recording, the problem came in when I really couldn't hear a lot of things that were going on on real live speakers. So now to be running uh, even these cheap Squires, which are actually a pretty good quality floor monitor, just right here underneath my desk, this, uh, this iNuke NU1000 from Behringer is amazing. And at $149, I don't see how you could go wrong. So if you're on a budget and you're looking for a quality piece of equipment, so far, I think it's going to do exactly what we need it to do, and uh, I'll let you know if we have any issues as time goes on, but I don't anticipate having any problems at all. This thing had really good reviews and very high marks. So, that's it. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it, and feel free to leave any questions or comments that you have in the comment section below. Thank you.